Hey guys, Scott here with Alpha Nerd Tech. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna take a look at the Orco Mini Pro Mac Mini Dock. It's harder to say than you'd think. It's a sleek little accessory designed specifically to make your Mac Mini even more powerful. The Mac Mini is already one of Apple's best value desktops. It's small, powerful, and super clean on the desk. But it has a couple of limitations, in my opinion. Ports are all in the back, storage options are very limited, and expanding it usually means cluttering up your workspace with external drives and hubs, or taking it apart and upgrading it. That's where the Mac, that's where the Oracle Mini Pro Dock comes in, not only to give you more accessible ports right on the front, but also has built-in M2 SSD expansion bay, all while blending seamlessly into your setup. I know, the upright design, come around. The upright design is not everyone's cup of tea. A lot of people don't like it, but for those of you that like it, let's break this thing down. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's just get right into unboxing this bad boy. So we're gonna take it out here. tabs here to deal with. We do not, so that's good. Got some air fighting us, but that's all right. All right, so we get the normal little Mini Pro book here. Multiple languages. And this little foam wrapper. We got the box. And what do we get in here? We should get a cable. We get some heat transfer pads. We get the cable. We get a screw. And we get a screwdriver. And again, I know a lot of people are not fans of these upright designs. But just look at how sleek and small this thing is. I mean, it's not taking up that much more space. And you're getting USB-A ports, you're getting DC in, and then you're getting all your Mac connectivity, and you're getting SD and micro SD or TF cards, and you get the expansion on the bottom. So to me, that's just amazing. That's worth its weight in gold right there. It does have the button up here for turning on your Mac, so it would be right there in the side of it. So let's get the Mac in here and see how it fits. So you got a little slide button here, push that forward and it opens up. Again, we got the power button here. We got the hinges back here. That's what latched it in. And we will take one of the Mac minis Yes, I have too many. So this goes this way. So the Mac Mini is going to go in just like this. These are really nice rubber bases, rubber boots that hold it in nice and tight. Nice and tight. Maybe even too tight if you're trying to get it out later. And then we lock it in here. And we slide the top piece over. So we just slid that over to unlock it. And then it locks back in. So we're all locked in. Button's nice and clicky. I'm sure you guys can hear that. Now in my opinion, this thing looks super cool. And sitting up on the desktop, yeah, it's just very nice looking little accessory for the Mac Mini. 
Again, it doesn't take up much more space for the Mac Mini, even though the Mac Mini is nice and sleek and compact. And it takes up even less when you stand it up. And the fact that you got the button right there instead of underneath the machine. Like for me, it would go against the wall back there. So it'd sit like that and it'd be just easy to hit that button, turn it on. So let's go ahead and put the SSD in it. And I'm going to pair this up with a brand new whatever I grab first here. Um, looks like the Kingston is the winner. I have a few different drives back there, brand new, that I like to use for these videos um, instead of recycling drives all the time. So let's try not to cut the uh, Device. All right, so we're pairing this up with a one terabyte Kingston. And this is a NV3, so it's the 6,000 megabytes a second. This will not make any difference in here. I'm expecting to see right around 1,900 and something, which is, is perfect um, for this type of device. That's about what we're going to get out of a 10 gig port. So I'm okay with that. So let's go ahead and get this guy in. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. And then we'll throw at least one, if not two, of the heat transfer pads on there. We'll see how tight it fits first with one. They do give two. Now one thing I like about the other Orico dock is it has the fins on here for cooling. As you can see, the fins actually help this thing cool a lot. And from what I've seen, this type of design here does run cooler than the flat back ones, but we're going to find out. Okay, that does fit nice and tight. Okay, and it looks like my device is missing the screw. Now this was sent to me by the company, so this may have been something. Yeah, the screw is not in the box with this one. Oh yes it is, look at that. So, it's stabbed right there in the side right there. How that happened, I'm not sure, or if that's normal, but anyway. Now the back cover was off of it and just floating around in the back, in the box when I opened it. So anyway, there we go. We have a screw. And it does fit nice and tight with the one pad, so I'm only putting the one on there. Yeah, it's got lots of back pressure there, so that means it can get good heat transfer. All right, so that's it. Thing looks amazing. Again opinion based not everyone likes this design I don't use Wi-Fi so I will test the Wi-Fi speeds for you guys but I connect everything plugged in so and this one's only the one gig anyway my 10 gig is over there on the desk my other one gig is over there by the 3d printers so yes I have three Mac minis and I have a Mac studio so at any given time I can have these docks going for weeks and weeks before I do any kind of review or testing on them just to get some real data out of them. So anyway, we'll get this thing plugged in and see how it does. All right guys, so this is Gallifrey. This is my Unraid server. 
And what we're going to do is we have a 10 gig NIC in here. And we're going to do some speed tests between the Unraid server and the Orco Mini Pro using the USB dongle. So let's go ahead and go into speedtest.net. And what I have, as you can see, I have the 2.5 gig NIC connected directly to the Mini Pro. And we're going to test the speeds through the Mini Pro while we're transferring data. So let's check this thing out real quick and see how it does. Take a look here. It's plugged directly in. Make sure my Wi-Fi is turned off. And now we are just on the wired network. So you can see the wired network is capable of 2.4, 2.5 through the USB on the back of the Mini Pro. And we're going to let this complete. We'll let the upload complete. And we'll get ready here and we'll drop the uh, file. We'll start it again here in a second. All right. So now that's that, that is complete. I need to refresh this thing. Oh, there we go. So let's go ahead and refresh it and we're going to start it and I'm going to drag this over here and we're going to watch the speeds and we're still getting the speeds we are expecting. Still able to get the 24 download, 2400 download and upload is a little bit slower with the transfer it seems like. and. Data transfer did slow down slightly also. So again, that is that single channel or single route um, 10 gig port being shared, but it doesn't affect it too much. It does slow it down slightly. But again, that's what that's to be expected with a single channel, um, single 10 gig USB-C going over is it's got to share the data. So obviously it's going to, um, slow down slightly, but anyway, yeah, so it did transfer no problem. So now what I have is I have a new device from a company called Minthouse and Minthouse sent me over a five gig dongle. So I'm going to run the same exact test with the five gig dongle and let me find my USB-C adapter here. There we go. And I'll get that plugged in. There we go. Bear with me one minute, second, guys. All right, five gig is all plugged in and ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, start the speed test. And you can see we're running at five gig. Now let's drop, see if that slows down at all. It does not. We're running at the 4.7, 4.6 that it was just running at. We're still transferring at one gig a second over here. So there's our 10 megabytes, no problem. And again, 43, maybe a little slower on the upload, but yeah, it's done transferring before the speed test is even done. So now for the last thing I wanna try and see how this works out is we're gonna take the Orco Mini Pro file and I plugged in a USB 3 Kingston I actually did a review on this thing a while back. Um, we're going to take this file right here and we're going to drop it into the Kingston and see how that does. And that means we're going from the internal drive of the Orco Mini Pro and we're transferring it to a USB-A device on the Orco. So you can see up here we're in the 6 and 7s, 8. So again, very respectable speeds transferring from the internal NVMe of the Orco to an external USB drive. Reading at 800, 700, very respectable. So yeah, the USB speeds are definitely fast. 
Um, it's going to be done before I could run a speed test just to see, just to check a third option. But you can see that it's not slowing down at all. So as far as speeds go, this thing's great. I have no complaints. Um, yeah, there you have it, guys. So let's get into the closing thoughts here. All right, guys, so there you go. There it is, the Orco Mini Pro. And you saw it in all its glory, just as I did. My opinions, um, it's a good dock. It's beautiful, the thing looks amazing, sleek, looks really good sitting on the desk. Um, is it worth the money? Yeah, probably, if you like this design and you like the shape and everything. Again, the front only gives you the two ports and then your two Mac mini ports. Everything else is in the back. So your USB C's are in the back. I do prefer maybe to have one or two USB C's in the front, but you know, that's the way they made it. So this is what we get. So anyway, guys, um, great dock. I love it. Um, love the shape, love the size, love the, just the form factor and everything. I like that it can sit right here behind the studio or in front of the studio either way out of the way and do some videos like this I do like that it's uh, just easy I mean super easy to put together super easy to take apart you can put your Mac mini in there no problem the button is very convenient again there is some plastic in the top painted plastic same on the bottom but the full aluminum around the sides is nice. The handles, I guess, are just for looks because why would you want to, you know, lug, try to lug that thing around with a couple little handles like that. They're just for looks. But anyway, overall, it's a great dock. Orco makes some amazing stuff. And uh, I'm very happy with the uh, performance and everything. You know, like, like I said, it, it performs as it says it does on the box and as advertised. So there you go. Hope you guys liked this video. Was a little longer than normal for a, a dock review, just because I wanted to throw some extra tests in there. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys like this, there will be a link down below. This was sent to me by Orco to test out. Um, and I'm not trying to tell you to get it. I'm just saying that I like it. So anyway, link down below. Support the channel, definitely helps. Um, thank you guys so much. We're once we hit the 10,000 subscribers last week, we're over 11,000 already. Um, I'm gonna start working on some giveaway stuff. So next to giveaway is gonna be the Orco dock that we reviewed a while back. So I'm gonna come up with some uh, terms on how we're gonna do this. But eventually, um, I got to figure it out and figure out how to do the good random drawing generator and, and everything like that. But it will be open only to folks in the United States because of shipping. I am paying shipping. I am paying for packaging. You won't pay a penny. You'll send me an address once I um, contact you personally from me. It won't be a link to click here to go somewhere. It'll be a direct email from me. Um, from the same email that is in my description and we'll figure it out. So this is going to be our doc that we're giving away first. And we reviewed this one. Um, just look back a few videos ago. We did review this one recently. So anyway, we're going to give this guy away here soon. I just need to come up with the details on how we're going to do it. So thank you guys so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Like and subscribe, all the fun stuff. I'm out.